So while I detangle JoJo's hair, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a background on JoJo Baby. Baby girl is six years old and she happens to be a twin. Her hair is 30 inches long, I measured it. I've been growing JoJo's hair out since birth. She wants her hair to grow like Rapunzel's. Her request, not mine. But I keep her hair trimmed when it needs one. And her hair curl pattern is definitely different in different areas on her head. And it tangles easily because she's a little girl. And she has three brothers and loves tumbling around. So <laughs> braids work best. I don't use shampoo on her hair unless she really needs it. And today, Jojo needs her hair washed. I typically do not wash her hair a lot with shampoo. Um, I wash her hair a lot with conditioners. Probably every three days I'm rinsing her hair with conditioners just to keep it well moisturized and well detangled so that when we do come to wash days, it's not a matted mess. So I am just prepping her hair with the conditioner and then I'm gonna tie it up in a bun and let it sit for about five minutes. And then we're gonna get to washing JoJo's 30 inch hair. Ugh. Rapunzel, we coming after you, girl. So on to the shampoo part. I'm using just a quarter size amount of shampoo. It goes a long way. And I'm only focusing on cleansing her scalp and roots. I'm using Moisture Rich Shampoo by Tresemme, the same as the conditioner that I applied earlier. Now I won't be washing the shafts of her hair because I'm not clarifying her hair. I do that once a month. And I shampoo her roots and scalp when she's been doing way too much, like playing in the dirt, grass, or just sweated a lot. So JoJo did all of the above, so I'm cleansing her scalp and roots of the dirt, sweat, grass, and whatever else my six-year-old child decided to put in her hair. The shampoo that gets rinsed out acts as a light cleanser as it runs down the shaft of her hair. The reason that I avoid shampooing her entire head of hair is because it strips her hair of its natural magical oils and dries it out and causes it to tangle and become unmanageable. Her hair may not look like it, but it becomes matted easily if not taken care of properly. We're in the home stretch now. I'm applying more conditioner and I'll be using a Denman brush to help remove shedded hair and knots. I think this is one of the most important parts in retaining JoJo's length, making sure that her shedded hair does not tangle with her hair that's on her head because once they knot up, it can be really frustrating and it will take quite some time and lots of patience to untangle her hair without damaging it. And it may have to get cut out. Now, I have not had to do that because I take proper care of Jojo Bean's hair and stick to a really strict schedule of a wash routine and co-wash routine. And plus, I've had a lot of experience because I'm completely natural underneath these wigs, honey. And I have 20 inches of natural hair myself. So, luckily, she doesn't have to go through all of the trials and error that my hair had to go through. And I'm able to navigate through her hair much more easily.
Last but not least, it's time to moisturize JoJo's hair and attempt to braid her hair. I like to call them struggle braids. They are my specialty because I be struggling to get these braids done, okay? I am not the strongest braider in the world, but it's okay because this is just gonna serve as a protective style for JoJo because I'm just going to unravel them and do something different the next day. So the moisturizer that I'm using on her hair is by Cantu Shea Butter. It is a moisturizing curl activator cream allegedly <laughs> because all the products say that they help activate your curls but it's just basically a heavier hair lotion i love it i use it on my hair and on my boy's hair as well it is very moisturizing but it's not heavy so you're definitely going to have a nice little gloss left to it i really like this stuff for braid outs it works really 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 well and keeps your hair really moisturized and it gives you a nice little shine to your hair even though it's going on white it sets clear nice and glossy So this process all in all takes about an hour to be honest from detangling, shampooing, washing her hair and then you know moisturizing and braiding her hair. It takes about an hour to get everything done unless I have other things to do then I'll let the conditioner sit on her hair for a little bit longer. But Jojo is so accustomed to getting her hair done that she is completely fine as long as she has something to entertain herself like an iPad or some candy or some snacks I normally have for her. Something special. We play music. We sing songs which is just what she doing right now girl. That little girl is just singing her heart away. You hear me? While her mother struggles with these braids. Girl, shout out to my nail tech because I don't know how these gems, crystals, Swarovski, rubies are still on my nails, girl, but they still here, honey. They are here. I digress. So I'm just gonna continue finishing up on this side and then do the same thing on the other side. And me and Jojo are gonna come back and she's gonna tell you how she feels about her hair or maybe not. <laughs> In any event, I thank you guys so much for watching this whole process. Please thumbs up the video if you really enjoyed this content on my channel. And leave a wonderful comment down below for Jojo Bean. That's if YouTube actually lets the comment section stay on. Because sometimes when it features minors, kids, even if they're your own kids, they will turn off the comment section. Just because there are, you know, crazy evil people that will just leave negative comments about your churn down in the comment section below and you know you know what i say girl i love the lord but um girl i fight try jesus don't try me honey because i throw hands especially about my children okay but anyway i really do appreciate you guys watching this video so please thumbs it up and especially for Jojo Bean and, you know, just being such a good sport, getting her hair done. And for me, and these struggle braids. And, and yeah, look at Jojo. She's like, ooh, mommy. Now we've completely finished Jojo's she hair. Loves her. And stand up, Joe. Okay. All right, turn around. <laughs> what a beautiful girl. And then of course, we show them your edges. Ooh, edges lay. Yes. Yes. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Good girl. Oh, I love you. Oh, let, let them see how long your hair is in the back. Turn around. All right, all done.